Uh, one, two, three. Epitaph represents a culmination of all of his work and really represents the multifaceted artistic stylings of Mingus. I first performed the piece under the leadership of Charles Mingus' widow, Sue Mingus, and conducted by Gunther Schuller. We performed the piece at Lincoln Center, and I was definitely amazed and, and overwhelmed and everything by the piece. It really served as an example of third stream music, which was a term coined by Gunther Schuller in around 1957. And it was just the idea of uh, combining the concepts of jazz with the concepts of classical music. Jazz has always been a great uh, tool for integration and collaboration. And this presentation of Epitaph is going to be about half Yale students and half professional musicians from the Mingus Big Band. So it's a great opportunity for experiential learning. These students are learning in the field from the best. And there's no real better way to learn music than from these experiential and kind of apprenticeship opportunities. I don't want the students to have any bias or have any expectations because I want them to experience it the way it should be experienced, the way I experienced it. Um, but I, what I have been talking to them about is taking advantage of sitting next to some of the greatest jazz musicians that we have and learning from them by example. I think it's important for the listeners to know how studied and gifted Charles Mingus was as a composer, how important music was to him, and understand that with Mingus and especially musicians of that era, music was their vehicle for expressing how they were feeling and their, their tool in combating racism and dealing with equity and things like that. So to me, Mingus just represents freedom. Freedom of expression, freedom from expectation or preconceived notions, freedom from categorization, just represents freedom in general.